How am I doing, Mom? It looks great already. With less than 25 minutes to go, Veronica has discovered her brisket is not cooked. It's pink, so that means it's not cooked through. It's got to go back into the pressure cooker. Has to, has to. Put it back in and let it go and hope it works. Hi there, Matthew. Hi there, Chef. This is the first time you've made a Filipino-based dish for us in this competition. This is about showing you guys our progression, and this is something I grew up on. Arlene, how do you think it's looking from up there? It's looking great, actually, and I'm so happy. That's fantastic. It's smelling delicious from down here. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, good luck with that. Great. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Matthew. It'll be beautiful, Chef. I'm making a corn butter to go with my waffle. Having my family here, I am rejuvenated, and I want to show off. Homemade butter. You got this, Mary. This is looking pretty darn good. Come on. I only make butter for the people that I love. This is so intense. I'm pulling noodles in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Pulling noodles is a lost art. There's a lot of manpower, a lot of technique, a lot of skill. My dad has not seen me do this yet, so I'm excited to show him. Pulling noodle is a real craft. Chef spends years learning how to do it. They take apprenticeships, actually, learning from the masters in Hong Kong. Top three's on the line. I would never take this kind of risk normally in such an important cook, but today I'm doing it. I'm really excited because we've been promised two elevated Filipino dish. You got this, Matthew. Let's represent, buddy. The moment of truth coming up for Jeremy. He's about to open up his pressure cooker and find out if his oxtail is cooked. It's soft. Jeremy just took a jar of peanut butter and dumped it into his oxtail. Peanut butter is used <laughs> all over the world for sweet and savory. Ooh, they look good. Five minutes, you have five minutes left. Five minutes. Oh. Veronica is opening up her pressure cooker, so I hope her beef is cooked. My brisket is cooked, but it is tough. One minute, you have one minute left. <laughs> Feeling really good right now, it's just all a matter of getting it on the plate. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands up. <laughs> My mom's cooked this for me since I was a kid, so just knowing that she's watching me it really hits in the heart. We can't wait to taste the dishes that your families have inspired. Matthew, you're up. This is the first time that I'm showing my culture in this kitchen, and I'm very proud. This is my version of my mom's chicken adobo. I turned it into a quail adobo. Instead of making a soup, I made a jus, and I infused that with the flavors that would go into natural adobo. How does that make you feel to have made it this far and have your family here to witness how great you are? It means so much for me just to see their faces up there looking down at me in this kitchen that I fought so hard to be in. The eggs, I noticed, are perfectly cooked. Spot on. This is puffed wild rice? Yes, it's not a Filipino meal without the rice. I chose to puff it to add some texture. Look at that, perfectly pink. That's difficult to do because it's such a small bird. You might have single-handedly redefined Filipino cuisine in this dish. Wow. You might be onto something. Hey there, Matthew. Hi, Chef. Beautiful, moist quail breast there. Nicely seasoned, complex. Lots of great little flavors going on. A touch of heat, just super savory and wonderful to look at. After tasting this dish tonight, I really get a sense that you're thinking like a chef and cooking like a chef. Thank you, Chef. Wow. This has been the best critique I've ever had so far in a competition. I want my family to see me win. Mary, can you please bring up your dish? Walking past my family with my dish, I feel more pressure than in any other cook so far. I made cornmeal sweet potato waffles with seared quail breast, and underneath is just a bed of creamed spinach. It's reminiscent of chicken and waffle, but a little 
fancier. You know, I'm surprised, Mary. This is so delicious and perfectly seasoned, <laughs> and I knew you did not taste it, right? No, I you didn't. can't. No. <laughs> because you don't eat meat. No. You're missing something. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to try this waffle with cream spinach, right? Mm -hmm. Wow! <laughs> All the flavors, texture, comes together. Beautiful. Thank you. Perfect, delicious family meal, except the butter. You know why? Why? Because it's so delicious, and there's so little Hi. of it. You're a lucky bunch up there. <laughs> it would feel so amazing to win this challenge, because my family's here to share it with me. Veronica, please bring up your dish. I know my brisket's tough. My dad's here, he wouldn't want me to lie to the judges, so I'm just gonna be honest and tell them straight up. This is a braised brisket with hand-pulled noodles, pickled cucumber, and a selection of vegetables. How are you feeling? Very happy with my noodles, but I don't know if the meat's cooked through. Brisket, it is a, an inexpensive cut that is so delicious when cooked in a very moist method. Beef brisket is a little on the underdone side. Possibly another 10 or 15 minutes, and it would have hit the sweet spot. But the flavors, rich, homey, big, bold flavor to it, absolutely wonderful. Now the noodle, hand pulled. Delicious, good density, a nice toothiness to it, an elevated family meal. Thank you, chef. Well done. Thank you. I know my family's happy. I feel good. Jeremy, please bring up your plate. I'm taking a risk with this dish, but I want to share my culture with Canada. It's an elevated take on a traditional dish called kare kare, oxtail stewed with peanut butter. Typically, it's served with a bowl of rice. I can see why this makes a great family dish. Yeah, I'm pretty proud. Oxtail in 60 minutes, that's tough. I knew, but I wanted to go for it and take the risk. Peanut butter, shrimp paste, yep. and the rice cake, that's a nice touch because the Chinese say, if we don't eat rice, it's not a meal. Same with Filipino culture, we eat rice with everything. It's delicious. Thank you. So I taste all the different textures, the smokiness, the different flavors. Everything seems to come together. You know, at first I saw the peanut butter, you know, it would have been a bit bland, but you know, with the saltiness from the fish sauce, it's just right, the seasoning. I think it just needs a little bit more kick. Okay. And a bit of a spice. Perfect family meal. Thank you. I wish my mom was still alive to see this. She would be so proud, but I have her with me on my arm all the time. Tonight, you all made knockout dishes inspired by your families and the stunning ingredients that you chose at the St. Lawrence Market. But only the home cook who made the very best dish will advance to the MasterChef Canada semi-final. And that home cook is... Mary. Oh, my God! Oh! 